I just made 87% on my Mara stocks. I bought 50 of them. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it and how I plan to go forward. If you appreciate information like this, that's quick, fast, in a hurry, and actually very specific. Hit the like and hit the subscribe. Welcome to the channel. I'm Keenan Grace. Now, as you see here, I made $595 at the time of this recording just by buying 50 shares of this same stock. And this stock is still in a $20 range. And I'm going to show you exactly where we can see it going. Now, if you want to be up on any of the information and watch when I buy, when I sell, and my stop losses and learn how to do it, go ahead and join KG's University for the Gifted. Now, it's perfect for beginners. It is perfect for pro investors. You can get in for $10. This one is sold out and the higher level is sold out. They're the same thing, but people pay more because they feel as if they're getting enough value out of it that they just want to basically show love. So again, major salute to all of y'all. And again, let's talk about it, family. So Mara, at the time of this recording, is up 15% in the after hours. It is still pushing. Now, I don't consider Mara stock a stock that I want to hold until retirement. This is a hold that I'm playing as long as Bitcoin stays above the 40,000, 42,000 range. If Bitcoin stays above there, then I'm willing to hold on to this. And I made videos about Mara way before it ran up and I gave you specific levels. When I give you levels, that's called technical analysis. I'm looking at the charts. I'm seeing where the buyers are. I'm seeing where the sellers are. I'm doing research by reading a lot of books to really solidify the information and come with the receipts and the facts so that I can give you the top quality information on YouTube straight up for free. So now let's go and let's look through this. I had told you the other day that you need to look for the price. And this was yesterday, if not the day before yesterday, where I said, make sure you keep your eye on the $22 level. And I'm gonna bring up the receipts on that too. $22 level was a part of a buy zone where I had it. And I'm going to show you that right here. Now, this happened today at 10 a.m. Eastern, right? Let's look at this. You may remember this from yesterday. And I've been calling this the trident method, right? So there's some gum, old school gum back in the day where it's like three layers, right? And it's like the red, the green in the middle, and then the red on the bottom. So I would wait if I seen it in this range right here between 25 and or 23 and 25. And then I would buy it between 19 and 22. And then I would sell it with the stop loss if I seen it at about $18, because then at that point it's turning around. So now what am I trying to have happen? I wanted to break out past 25 though, after I picked it up between 19 and 22, but now it's currently 25. So now I'm waiting and I'm gonna show you some information that is a supporting piece of evidence to show you why I would wait if I see it at 25, and then if I seen it at 26, that would then change my mind again to being bullish on it. But you gotta play the technicals and you have to be adaptable when you are trading. Investing means you buy it and you hold it long-term. Trading means you get in, you get up, you get out. It's not about holding this thing forever. It's about making money on it and taking profit. If you like to make money in the stock market and that is why you are in the market, write the word money in the chat so I know who I'm talking to here. There are some people who get caught up in holding on to everything forever, and they get caught up in every single movement, you can get a part of a movement if you so choose. But if you get in every single movement, you are more likely to lose. I made this video about a week ago or so, and I showed you these levels, where I said $13 is where I would put a stop loss on it. About 14 to 17 is where I would put my buy order in, try to get some at 14, 17. Once it got to 18, I would slow down and wait to see if we got into another breakout level but I would wait at 18 and 20, right? And I had posted this when it was $17. So then this was another buying opportunity using that Trident method. But I had mentioned this and I said, oh, do I got the timestamp on this? Up top, August 18th, I was telling you a support level for Mara, this is when it was $9. A support level was $7. And I want you to hit the notification bell so when I'm saying these things, you're not catching it on the back end, and you actually are taking action. Now, again, I can bring you information like this, but I can't make you buy it. I'm not going to tell you what to buy. I'm not going to tell you what to hold. I'm not going to tell you what to sell, but I get on here. Basically I make videos every day and I tell you, Hey, this is how I made money doing this. This is how I protected myself from losing a lot by selling it at this certain point. And then I'm showing you exactly how I'm doing it. You can go back and recheck where the levels are that I'm telling you at. And you say, Hey, should I have sold it there? Yeah, probably. Right. That's, that's where the buyers were. That's the support level. And it broke. Oh, 
Should I have jumped in here? You want to think and be able to understand the technicals, but the technicals are a fancy way of just saying, I will buy it at this number and I will sell it at that number, or I will just wait if it was that number. That's really what we're doing here at the end of the day. I like to break these things down so that everybody can understand it. When we hear technicals, we're just looking for, because again, if you wrote money in the chat, you in it to make money, just like me. So what I want to do is keep my morals out of the stock market and look at the charts because the charts don't care about you. They don't care about me. They don't care about the people who are trying to manipulate the market. They are just there to show us what's going on so we can use it to make some money. So now, again, I had notified everybody that the support level was at seven, right? It was at seven. And what people tell you is, oh, man, you missed the boat. You missed the boat at seven. It goes to eight. They tell you you missed it. It goes to 10. They tell you you missed it. It goes to 15. Oh, you missed it. No, you got to use the charts. You got to block that noise out of your head and say, hey, can I make some money here? Mara used to be a $75 stock. It can potentially go back up there if Bitcoin continues to show strength. Doesn't mean it will, but you got to play the chart. And again, that's why I'm wearing this hat to work. I say you got to trade with the chart and not with your heart. So now let's think about that and let's look at another one that has not moved as significantly yet, but is moving. This is Riot, which is another crypto miner. A crypto miner means this is a company that is basically pulling Bitcoin out of the earth, right? Like, you know how you mine for gold? They're mining using computers and basically using hard drives and so on and so forth to mine and do data collection, really, when you think about it, and processing to pull Bitcoin basically out of the blockchain or kind of creating it. So when we look at that and we think, oh, companies are pulling new Bitcoin into existence and Bitcoin is going up in price, this is helping them to go up in price, right? They are the companies and people want to buy Bitcoin, but they're afraid. So instead they're going by the miners, which are actual companies that are being traded publicly on the stock market. So instead of necessarily touching the crypto itself, they'll go and play the miners. Riot is $16, or at least it was, at 12.15 p.m. Why am I bringing this up? Because in yesterday's video, I had told you between 14 and 16, in that range, that's where I'd be willing to buy it. Again, I can't tell you what to buy, but I can show you the trident of where I'll put my stop loss, where I would buy it, and then where I would wait if I seen it in that price zone. And then what I'm expecting is a potential breakout, but this is the entire play. Again, I tell you, I'm like the coach. I could write up the play, and this is the play, but I can't make you run the ball. So now, with that being said, and Riot is, like we just said, it's at $17 now, so it's up again. We want to see what's likely to happen next. And again, potentially that breakout, but we are at levels of resistance, and I'm going to show you some of the receipts. And I want you to put this one on your watch list. It's called Cypher Mining. Shout out to my dog, Larry Jones. Shout out to... The rest of the whole stock squad too. Shout out to Chris Sane as well. We were talking about Cypher Mining and this is a smaller miner company, right? So again, like we were saying, these are kind of the mining companies that are kind of selling the shovels, right? They're the ones who are kind of pulling Bitcoin up out of the earth, let's say. And they're really the ones who are killing it. So we want to keep our eyes on these. And again, I don't see any of these, in my opinion, you might have a different one, as a long-term play. I want to buy it, make money on it, let it go, let it crash down, buy it again, rinse and repeat. Put this one on your watch list. The ticker symbol is C-I-F-R, Cypher Mining. $4 a time in this recording. Put it on your watch list. So now, I got to ask you. I'm going to show you some data about the big dogs and how they're playing Mara and Riot. And what you're looking for, when you look for the institutional, unusual activity, is is it red or is it green? So now, red or green? When we open it up, we can see institutions, red, red, green. Two bets against it, one bet with it. But here's a caveat to that. Let's look at the time or the date. Over here, you can see all the way on the other side, it says 1214. Back then, on the 14th, guess what? They were buying millions of dollars of call options, aka betting that it was going to go up, on the 14th. And it did go up a lot. So that million dollars, 1.3 million, they very likely turned that into about $5 million. But they signaled that it was likely to go up, not guaranteed, but likely because how much money they bet on it. Now that we're at the resistance all the way up at the $25 level, they're betting against it. It does not mean they're guaranteed to come down because they don't need it to crash. They just need it to go up, 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 up. 
And then they put so much money in that if it just goes down a little bit, whoop, they'll make millions of dollars and then be able to cash out on that. So expect volatility at these resistance levels. So we want to see, is it going to go up, 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 come down just a tad and then continue back up? This is what we want to pay attention to. And this is just Mara. Let's switch over to Riot. Riot, less movement, but we're not surprised. Why? Because when we look at the institutional activity on there, and this is, again, a tool that you need in your toolbox because, again, those who are using it can see what's going on with the institutions, and those who are not are in the dark. They have no idea how institutions are really playing it because they could tell you one thing on the news, but their buys actually show up here. Riot, well, December 21st, they're betting against it. So today they're betting against it. Family, this is interesting. We're at a resistance level again. We're at a level where, again, I was saying with Riot, I would kind of wait. I would kind of wait to see if it breaks out into the 20 level because we are at a resistance. Now, if you want to use this tool, I told you before and I'm gonna tell you again, this is a free tool on Moomoo. Moo. So you can go and you can get 5.1% interest on your money if you're not ready to invest it. And they're gonna give you up to 15 free stocks and they're gonna give you access this is even more powerful than that, in my opinion, to this tool so I could watch what the institutions are doing. Now, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. If you appreciate that, hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to the channel. And you already know what time it is. Write money in the chat. I love y'all. See you in the next one. Take care.